All right, welcome to another episode from the Chart Readers. We are taking another look at the psychedelics, looking at Truff, Red Light Hollands, as you see here. We'll take another look at Cellos, we added that one last week, and then Mind Medicine at the end. I mean, you know it if you watch a lot of my videos, and we're, we're getting into a scary place now, okay? You know good things happen over the 8, good things happen over the 20, right? But bad things tend to happen under, and that is where we're at, and we lost one of our support lines, right? So um, definitely a few details are jumping out of the screen, but again, before we get into it, what are we going to do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how things are setting up. We have our five moving averages. There's one up here, but there are these horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we're done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please like and subscribe, it does really well with the YouTube algorithms. But even if you don't, just thank you so, so much for watching these, okay? And then if you disagree with anything I got to say, please throw it in the comments, okay? I'm not here pretending to be perfect and all-knowing, right? I'm giving you my opinions, and if yours are better, I'm not going to hate. I'm going to say thank you, you know? So let's get into it. And there's there's definitely a few things that are that are worrisome. I obviously started with that at the beginning of the video, right? Good things happen over the eight and the 20. It's literally rules number one and 1.5 on these videos, right? Just stay over the eight and try to stay over the eight and the 20. Once you lose them, it gets scary, right? I do not like that we lost this um, this support line, right? And at one point was a, res I'm gonna actually zoom out one more time. It was a resistance, right? We hit it, fail it, hit open, fail it, fail. Like this thing was a resistance. Then we break it and all of a sudden it's a good thing. We actually bounce off of it, bounce off the 20, right? And now we failed it. That's, that's worrisome, right? Again, we couldn't crack this resistance and we couldn't use this to bounce up one more time, right? So what's coming up next? Look, I, I say, and it's funny that this is all red, right? Because it really is nothing but green in my head because it obviously went up very, very beautifully. But yeah, this, again, I have to say red, 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 red is gonna turn into red, 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 red. But yeah, this up can quickly turn down and bring us into this plateau right here. Maybe this number right here, 82, uh, eight, not 82, eight cents, a little, a little less than eight and a half, so. Um, the next big place is obviously this eight and a half. And look, I know I was talking about these numbers the last video. It was don't lose eight, seven, eight, six, eight, five, eight, four, right? Do not lose this horizontal. We're now at a place where hopefully the 50 keeps us above that horizontal. But yeah, if we lose the 50, the next place we're coming is gonna be the 100. And look, I'm day-to-day -day bullish because we're looking on the daily. I'm day-to-day -day bullish over the 200. It's the last one for a reason. It's nothing but blue skies up here. Obviously not in the charts just yet, right? But yeah, if we come down to the 200, there's a legitimate chance we skyrocket up. The 200 is a monster, monster recovery point, or it's going to be a really quick drop down into the sixes again. Okay, and that that's for sure not we want not what we want to see. I'll draw this just for a little perspective. Look, the the uptrend basically is that right. You can see those are the original ones. Even if we come here, right to to where I'm basically saying at the 50. Even if we come here, even if we come here, let's just come to the the um the 200 it's still actually a little better because again let me let me get rid of that one this one would be down here right we've now we've hit these things and then from there we go there and that's still going up hopefully we come boom and then boom right that would be the goal but right now honestly there's there's a lot more that's worrying me and making me believe we might come to eight hopefully we hold this hopefully the 50 does its job but that's an ugly rsi it looks like that also wants to keep going worse right i'm not yet seeing the curve maybe a little bit maybe it goes here and then kind of clinks in a little bit instead of going like steeper down but I, I wish it was just a little more curvy. I'm not liking that too much. 
RSI is still relatively tight. We are actually under. And yeah, volume has just been really ugly the last couple days, right? I mean, almost not even days, sorry, the last, what, week and a half, really, right? So um, it, it really is a matter of what's going to happen here. And again, the same numbers I gave from, I gave from last video, 8, 4, 8, 5, 8, 6. Let's hold that. Don't take me to 8. Or if you're going to take me to 8, get ready and make sure it bounces because yeah you lose this i don't think this is holding i think it's going to be a quicker drop down so it, it's not the the best optimism i'm obviously saying that but it's still one more time day-to-day -day bullish we're still over the 200 don't underestimate the 200 i also kind of gave a little bit of a, of a i think the markets are going to turn around powell gave some speech today people didn't like it you know so markets are aren't doing the best right now look the the weekly is at a really important place right now what's this weekly actually at nine five okay so losing nine five where does nine five put us this guy right here yeah i guess so again i actually don't i i mean obviously it's the weekly and i'm, I'm not trying to disregard it but yeah i'm i'm still looking here i i still want to hold those numbers because again after this we still come back to this 80 and look ultimately i think this is also saying 80 is really where we're coming 80 we also have two lines on the weekly it has to it has to it has to do a monster monster recovery at 80. that's that's i think what i'm looking for and if you want to know the truth i think i'm setting myself an alert at 80. i think i want to know when this thing hits 80. i'll i'll be interested am i actually going to trade it i don't know i'll be honest um, it's definitely a lot lower volume than I, I really like to put my money into, but um, hey, that was a pretty good uptrend, right? And if we can recover and keep going, and if we can actually break that, that's definitely going to be a really nice line to break for sure, for sure. So um, let me take a step back. I actually still do need to keep that, but you know what? I do want to draw that line. Let's now make that one because um, that, is, that is a new important one to look at. Okay, I think that's a good look at Truff. Um, Celos, I don't think this is going to be a long analysis because I've actually kept up with this one. I look, my videos are not financial advice, but yeah, if you used the video from last week, you, you knew to go away from this bad boy. You knew to wait for the real confirmation. You knew not to get fooled out by a gap up over that 50. Yeah, I know that looks good to a lot of people. I know when you see it going up, right, it wicked to all the way up here, right? We don't care about that. We care about where it closed and it closed here. And we knew, again, nothing's guaranteed, but yeah, once you lost this, that was just expected, right? So um, yeah, this really was more of a, yeah, this thing kind of works a little bit, you know what I mean? So um, we just lost the 69 line. We gave a bad confirmation today. Um, are we at all time lows here? I actually genuinely don't know we're not, but 55 looks like the next place this is going to. And then, um, Damn, yeah, after 55, there's one more line. I'll just draw it to have it. But yeah, this is this this is actually getting worrisome for sure. For sure, for sure. So um be careful here. But again, I, I sincerely hope, you know, this is not financial advice, but hey, it's it this is how you learn, and I hope you learned quick enough to avoid a fake out. For sure, for sure. Not M M N D M N M D mind medicine there we go man we talked about this right let me zoom out a little bit this was the gap fill that just never happened this was the super super hard four dollar resistance that just never broke this is what happens when you trade under the eight trade under the 20 now you're coming to this moving average if you lose this one you're going to come to this moving average if you lose this one it goes to what i say where once you lose this plateau and you see nothing but a mountain of green 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 unfortunately it becomes a quick red 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 probably to right here i'm just going to go ahead and draw this i think it is actually worth having um i think we'll take that guy right there take the top of that bad boy um yeah 270 actually seems really realistic look that is a low rsi for sure i generally say in the 30s it's way too low and, and it needs to turn around um Man, how low have you been over here? 
So you were in the tens. You were in the sixes. I'm sure we went back here before, but I mean, it, it's seen single digits. It's seen lower double digits, right? So maybe the hundred does save it. Maybe three dollars is is roughly where it comes before it does a little recovery. But yeah, if it loses three, I can definitely see it coming to to two seventy for sure. Um, oh, okay. I think I like three a little bit more. You see, at three oh eight, we have the twenty moving average on the weekly. So yeah, hopefully three is no lower than it actually would go. But again, really what this is all about is breaking 403. I'm sure I've done it on other videos. I'll make another one just to be safe. I for sure wanna know 404. Break this by a penny and hopefully it's a beautiful, beautiful write up, right? An alert is not an immediate buy notification, but it's definitely a, hey, come check it out. I for sure wanna come check it out at 404. Unfortunately, I really don't want to look at this thing. Maybe at three, we'll talk again, but um, yeah. I also, again, we've now looked at three stocks in this, in three stocks in this sector. It adds a little bit of worry to Truff, right? Because again, I generally assume that the, that the sector moves well. People do have what looks like people stocks. I mean, you get it. They have some bounce points coming, right? So hopefully everyone does hit this one's $3. I forgot the other numbers on the other ones, right? But they all have points where they should bounce and hopefully together, right? So... Um, hey, I appreciate your time so, so much. If you disagree with anything, as always, just throw it in the comments, okay? But thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.